previously, so we're not even going demonstrably in the right direction okay. now. South Korea can is I, creating... Can I, yep, of course. Can I, can I ask you then, um, with that desire to help in the here and now, and, uh, you know, we all, I, I think we all feel that, don't we? We're, we know we're opposition MPs, individual citizens, journalists, I think we all feel that. Um, what would you say, ahead of today's five o'clock briefing in Downing Street, if you if, if you had the ear of whoever is, is leading that, what would you say to them? What would you say, look, about testing, about what they should tell us now about testing? Because talking cheerfully, as Robert Jenrick is, about the target of 25,000 a day in mid to late April, you know, it, he's talking positively about meeting targets, but but that won't wash again and again and again, will it? So what, what would you say in, a, in, in as helpful a way as you could? Uh, to the government has like said him. whatever it takes, and it has got to do whatever it takes to get more testing into our country. Because right now, rationing is happening. Each care home can only do a maximum of five tests per care home. Now, we have, I have one care home locally, we have 75 residents. Four are confirmed positive, but that's only because they could do a maximum of five tests. Uh, and that we don't know anything about the health of the staff who are working in there. So my, my, if I was to have the ear of the Prime Minister right now today, I would say two things. Firstly, we have got to get more tests into our country and they've got to be rolled out more equitably. We can't just focus all testing on frontline <coughs> NHS staff and leave older vulnerable people in care homes alone. The NHS doesn't own all of the tests. We as a society own these tests. And we have got to have a national debate about where we want them to be used and where we want them to be focused. The second thing I would say is specific about social care, stop workers going between care homes until we can do the testing. And just a final one, and in, in an attempt to reassure people really, because I've had some very distressed people on the phones this week, um, afraid that they or a loved one is, is going to be, in their words, left to die. Now, what's your understanding of care home policy? Um, and how it might differ from the policy that you or I might be uh, prey to if we get COVID-19, which is to stay at home until things get so bad you ring for an ambulance. Um, so is let me is it different people, in care home? Let me reassure people that, that every single person who is involved in working care homes is doing everything they can. The, the human sacrifice that is going on in care homes right now is extraordinary. I was an aid worker for 10 years back in the 1990s, and I've got to say, I've, I've spoken to every one of the care homes, all 30 of them in the community I represent. I've been speaking to care homes further afield, and I know other MPs are doing the same, so I'm getting a lot of information at the moment. And all the conversations I'm having are reminiscent of the days when I was an aid worker because of the sense of crisis, the sense of having to bend the rules and do whatever it takes to keep the people that you're responsible for safe. So let me reassure people, the people are managing, the people who are working, whether it's a carer or whether it's a cleaner or whether it's a cook, they are doing everything they can. But there is a difference, and it's because of the old, the age of many of the residents. And I'm sorry to say this, but very bluntly, that there is a policy that's being rolled out that if you are living into extreme or old age and you're over the age of 75, then it is likely that the hospital won't admit you, and it is likely that you will be left to stay in the care home and you'll be you'll be cared for. Uh, but there might be the working assumption that you're not going to survive. Uh, so the care package will change. This is because we aren't having a strategy at the moment of doing everything we can do to stop coronavirus getting into care.